Let's see, those dire wolves there. Are those tamed? Because they're just standing still. Oh, I think they're angry at me. Oh yeah, they're angry at me. So I talked about this in one of the first videos and it's finally ready and it's finally been added to the server. I have commissioned a mod for a Syntec Trader and we have it right here. It's called the Syncognito. If you understand that reference, let me know down below. Okay, I guarantee not very many of you will understand that reference because it's a really old reference as well. But anyway, right here, here's what it costs basically, 69 fiber and 420 hide. I didn't want to make them too cheap because uh, basically if they're extremely cheap, then somebody could just spam them around me and scare me when I wake up on the server, you know, like, because I'm just going to be surrounded by a bunch of little syntax like this. Although I am much taller than them, so people can tell the difference, unfortunately. I'm pretty sure I could probably pull off some sort of uh, some trick, though, and maybe use this Syncognito to raid somebody's base, you know? I could probably maybe break their one and stand behind it or something. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, guys, make sure that you hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one, and let's check this thing out. It's going to be awesome. So this is a mod that's specifically made for my server here, but you can use it on your own servers if you want to. Um, it will obviously allow people to craft element shards pretty easily. I mean, you can go around just farming a bunch of creatures and getting a bunch of these things to uh, basically craft a ton of uh, awesome stuff in here. Not absolutely everything is in here, and uh, the mod dev won't be taking requests for stuff. Uh, it will basically be just whatever I want to be in here will be added to it. So if you do add it to your servers and you don't like the way it is, well then... I guess tough because it's it's made for this one specifically um so anyway uh yeah let's go into some of it here so we have like a section where you can actually trade your apex items for shards uh since the very start of the server shards have been kind of like a currency they've been dropping from different creatures now the way that i'm doing it is that you actually have to get the apex items like you know these types of items here and basically trade those to the trader pretty much crafting them and uh you get some element shards so each item goes for like a different amount. I think aloe brains go for like three. I can't remember the, the exact amount for every single one, but it's definitely worth going around and collecting a bunch of these items to trade them in because you'll make a decent little profit here on my server. So right there, they kind of like become like a one item and then they immediately stack up. So we just got 28 from just those things right there. Let me go ahead and just chuck my personal collection into there. And I grabbed all of the Apex items from our base here. And apparently a Sir Syntec <laughs> level 51 Dermis. We're going to go ahead and actually turn all of these into shards. So you know what? We could probably carry them all, can we? Yes, we can. We have a lot of shards here. So we're just going to dump... That doesn't trade. We're going to dump the majority of this stuff in here. I actually grabbed everything from that box, but I probably shouldn't have. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and add all of these... Bam. So some items like uh, Bronto Vertebrae go for like six. Uh, T-Rex arms go for three because you get two of them. So you essentially get six by killing one T-Rex. Um, smaller items like RG Talons. I think you get two of those from an RG. So you get one per Talon. So obviously two from just killing an RG. And uh, let's see what else. Therizino Claws I think go for six because you get one of those from a Therizino. And... Yeah, just basically everything here just goes for a certain amount. Um, I probably won't go through absolutely everything, but I can tell you that Uteranus lungs go for eight because a Uteranus on this server specifically is probably harder to kill than a Rex or like a Spino or anything like that, mainly because it can do the fear roar and most of the creatures on here can be fear roared. So let's go ahead and start crafting all of these into... Uh, actual shards so the fire talon goes for 100 because there's only alpha fire wyverns on here there's no other type of wyvern so that's what it drops and it gives you 100 basically so we're just going to turn all of these into shards <laughs> oh my god my tribe is going to be rich look at this so we're almost done there we go we've traded in every single item that we had in that community box and we've got just under 5,000 shards so far which is kind of amazing now, with this money, what can we do? Well, there's a couple different items that aren't craftable on this server. This is a medieval server, so like a lot of stuff is disabled. Everything from the fabricator is disabled. But I wanted to add in some of these items as items that you can buy, but you can't repair them if they break. So we can buy scuba gear, which is nice. So the tank is 100, pants 50, 50 for the goggles, and 100 for the flippers, because these two are like the main things you're going to be buying, probably more tanks than anything. So... 
if you want to use these, you can, but you could also just go ahead and maybe grab yourself a Lazarus Chowder and or even uh, Diplocalus as well will also do the job. So if people want to, they can go ahead and buy this stuff. Uh, we also have the Glide Suit on here for 100. We have 100 for the Zipline motor and the Miner's Helmet is on here too. Uh, then we have costumes, which are like creature costumes. Now, this isn't every single costume. These are only the costumes that uh, can go on creatures that we can tame. So there's a ton of other bone costumes, but we can't tame any of those creatures on here. So I only have the ones that you can tame. So we actually have a, we have a Packy, and maybe I'll get this and actually put that onto the Packy. That could be cool. But we got the Stygimalock costume for 50, and then the other three are 30. Any uh, skin that will be locked to an achievement, you know, like there's a ton of achievements in Ark. Every single achievement unlocks skins for you or hairstyles or anything like that. Uh, so... I wanted those to be cheaper than like the standard ones. So obviously here, this is 20 shards extra because you can't get this by just having the achievement. Obviously, if somebody wanted to, they could sell every single skin, uh, you know, that you get when you die <laughs> by just making like a little shop of their own. Uh, then in here, we got all of the emotes. Well, this isn't absolutely everyone. I'll tell you right now, the emotes from Summer Bash, which is like these two, uh, the archer flex and the bi uh, bicep uh, smooch thingy, and then the panic, the dance, and the zombie one, which are from the fear evolved. All of those are not available right now, but hopefully they will be soon. They need to be added to the dev kit to be added into here, so hopefully we'll have those soon. But all these emotes right here are locked to achievements, so every one of those costs 50. The other ones will probably cost 100. Uh, and once you have it, obviously, you know, it's going to be locked to your character on here, and you can continuously use it as much as you want. Every hairstyle is on here too. We got those for 25, not very exciting. On here as well, you can make kibble normally, but I wanted the trader to offer some kibble too. So from basic going up, we have 15, 20, 30, 40, 50, and then 60 for the extraordinary one. Maybe I'll make this one a little bit more expensive. I'm not sure. I feel like it could probably be a little bit more expensive. Um, then what else do we have? We have miscellaneous. So this is just a couple different items in here. We got the camera. Uh, we've got the canteen. We Yeah, we've just got a bunch of different stuff in here. Uh, then we have, uh, let's go to the skins one. This is where it's going to get interesting. I'm actually going to buy one of these because I want that for my character. So you can pretty much just drop in your shards and just buy items from this thing. It's kind of like a shop, but it's really more of a crafting station with this being the currency. Uh, so we have a scary skull skin, which is nice. Um, and then I also want one of these actually as well. So all of the skins are in here. All of the ones that aren't part of the last two events from Ark. So obviously we can't have the Summer Bash and the other thing right now, but hopefully soon. We do have all the Easter stuff though, which is interesting. Uh, then we have some old skins that you can't really get nowadays. Obviously this was in the Archaeology event. The same one with the Stygimalock. Uh, we can get this for 100, but you could also kill an Alpha Lead Sickness. Um, what else do we have? Uh, this is 100 as well, but everything else is in there. Uh, you can buy all the Manticore armor for 80 apiece, including the shield. So 480 for the whole set. Um, and then we have the Homodeus stuff in here, which is a little bit more expensive. I think just in general, yeah, all the achievement skins are 20. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And then some of the ones that are from like events and stuff are all like 80. And then the super rare ones like this or the captain's hat are 100 each. Um, and yeah, that's, that's pretty much all the skins there. Like, as you can see, there's a ton of them in here. I'm not going to go through every single one. Um, and then we got some structures in here, which is nice. So we have the motorboat, which is something that people really wanted on here. More of a quality of life item because the only thing that you can do is make a raft and the motorboat's like just a faster version of the raft pretty much that uses, uh, gasoline, which we can make. So I wanted to make that available in here. So we have the motorboat for 500. The industrial cucker is in here too. This is only here because, uh, I mean, quality of life, again, at the same stage. Um, it does cost 3000 though. It's very expensive. But it might be worth it if you have a big tribe and you're often, like, crafting kibbles or soups or anything. So this is more of, like, a later game type thing. Doesn't really completely fit into medieval stuff, but like I said, this is a medieval server with a lot of quality of life stuff. Uh, we have the oil pump in here for 1000 This is, like, a big investment, obviously, but... It's going to work out because you're going to get a crap ton of oil. And then we have the cannon, 150. We have the catapult and the ballista for 75 each. We've got a bunk bed, which is more of an investment thing as well. Uh, and then we have the item balloon, which is nice because you can't craft that without the gas bag bladder thingy. So we can send messages around the server if we want to. 
Uh, then we also got cannonballs, ballista bolts, and chain bolas in here too. Um, let's see, we went from that one. Now, last one here. We got the weapons and the ammo and stuff. So we can buy a pump action shotgun on here, although it's little description is the same as a grenade. That's kind of funny. Um, <laughs> so we can buy this for 150. Again, this can't be crafted, but if it breaks, it breaks. It's gone. You're not going to be able to use it anymore. So it's useless if it's almost broken. You might as well just chuck it on the ground. Uh, and then we got the compound bow, the same kind of deal there. The good part about these two weapons is that you can already make the ammo. I don't have to put ammo in here as well, which is great. Uh, but yeah, everything else in here is pretty good. You can buy shotgun shells for 50, but it's going to give you 15, I think. And then I think it's 50 of these per 50 shards and then eight of these per 50 shards. I think I can't remember exactly, but, um, yeah that's pretty much all the items in here i think it's pretty amazing like it's definitely going to be fun on the server because obviously we don't have access to a lot of this stuff and speaking of that let's go ahead and make ourselves an industrial cooker let's see we need a little bit more bam all right this is a big investment but my tribe will thank us for this dropped in my boots apparently oh man all right let's see so i'm gonna go ahead and add this to my armor and then i'm gonna put that onto my spear let's go ahead and put all these on there's owling <laughs> um so oh you know what we got a converter over here i gotta go ahead and use that let me just drop my shards into here so unfortunately we're not gonna be able to have the s plus cooking pot because if we put it into the converter it says that we need the engram and if I have that Engram auto unlock for people, then they can craft it through the S plus crafting station, which I don't want. So yeah, we're probably just going to only have the normal cooking pot. Anyway, I wanted to just quickly mention that uh, we're going to actually move our house to down here. This is the exact size of my house and my house is that one right there beside the yellow drop. I'm going to move it there mainly because we hit structure limit over here and everybody pretty much on the server has hit structure limit. We're kind of working around it a little bit, but everybody was complaining, so we turned it up slightly. And I don't want to be kind of taking up structures down where we really need them, which is this area. Because we had to remove a, like a bunch of stuff from the old castle area down there. So um, I went ahead and just removed all those uh, to make room for the structures here, which was fine. But we've upped the structure limit, so I want to rebuild all that over there but i do want to move my house just so i'm not taking up the structure limit in the area that we actually need it and uh, maybe we can build like a proper village over here maybe everybody can move their houses to over here it's going to be a bit of a pain to move mine but i figured it's going to be worth it just to actually save us the space and uh it is a nice area that i have it at but i guess that's a nice area too and i got the castle right behind me but um yeah so here's our actual castle We've also got a really cool flag designed by Neo on my Discord. Uh, so it's a Gallimimus with a crown. There's actually an updated version of this that I got to repaint. It's got like a golden crown in that. I got to test that out though. I haven't checked it out yet. And uh, here we got the opposite one. So we have one facing left, one facing right, which is cool. And uh, we haven't updated these flags in here, although I kind of like that. So we might keep them like that as well. Uh, so yeah, this is our whole castle. Let me just show you a little bit. I don't mind showing it off too much because i figure i just i want you guys to be able to see it i don't want the enemies to be using this too much to their advantage but um right here you can't really see much of what we have um the insides though we've got a couple secrets and i'd rather not show this off because if you show off your secrets then they're not secrets anymore so maybe at the very end of the series i might show some of that stuff off but here's the castle in full and the outer wall as well it's going to be awesome when we actually can get raided by people. That's going to be really fun to, to go ahead and do. Um, I can't wait to just see people trying to storm our gate. It's going to be awesome. Uh, and then, yeah, obviously this whole plateau, I guess, kind of belongs to us. I mean, if somebody's going to try and build in front of us, we're not really going to like that or allow that. So, yeah, we have like a little sign up here. Whenever you're kind of entering one of the little ways into this plateau, so there's a little way over there. There's a way over here and a way over there. Uh, whenever you find one of those areas, you're going to find one of our flags that says you are now entering the kingdom of the Mimus. So, yeah, that's really awesome. <laughs> Pretty much just like right here. So maybe we'll build like a little town out here or something and maybe have like some shops or something like that. I know during like a raid, if we are going to get raided at some point, I'm going to probably leave my house completely open and all the storage containers unlocked so people can walk in and they can see that there's nothing in there. Um... 
I don't really want them blowing it to pieces trying to see if there's anything in there, so it's better to just leave it open. And if they blow it to pieces, then, well, that's just a dick move. <laughs> so, yeah, the castle still needs a little bit of work. Obviously, this stuff is super expensive, but it should be awesome for when we do get raided, though. Honestly, I, I'm super excited for that. I kind of want somebody to try and raid us at some point here soon. Um, so I think at this point, maybe we'll head out and tame a mammoth because we have the mammoth platform saddle on here, part of the better mammoths mod. So we're going to go ahead and maybe do that and check out a mammoth. So yeah, let's go. So we have journeyed to mammoth central. There are so many mammoths here. I've already taken a little look around and we have some decent ish ones. Not that one. I had a look at some of the ones down the hill. I want to hit up this NPC hut really quick. Um, yeah, we have a couple good ones. I saw quite a few 156s. There's one. Uh, I think there was another one there. Um, I kind of want something a little bit higher than that, though. 156 is good, but I think, like, the way I see it is, this is there's another 156. That's three of them so far. It's so weird. Um, the way I see it is, it's Ragnarok that's four of them. Wow. <laughs> Ragnarok has, like, a lot of high-level creatures, and it's really not that hard to find, like, almost a max level on here, so... I think that's what I want to go for. Almost max levels. Let's see. Those direwolves there. Are those tamed? Because they're just standing still. Oh, I think they're angry at me. Oh, yeah. They're angry at me. Ugh, get out of that. I can kill them pretty easily. Need to just dust them probably. Oh, there's a bunch of them over here too. All right. Never mind. Let's just get them to jump off the cliff. Come on. So yeah, I want to keep looking till I can find a really high level mammoth, but if I'm in the snow, I'm probably going to need a little bit of uh, Healy stuff. So I want to look in that NPC hut just to see if it's got any goodies for me, because it looks like uh, there's a bunch of bags down there. So that's probably all the dead NPCs, I imagine, because like all the wolves would just go straight after those creatures. There's also another bag over there. Let's see, any Healy things? Hey, three medical brews. Nice. A couple shocking trank darts. Amazing. And I'm going to... I'm gonna keep that. I don't know if that helps with the cold. I'm gonna drop all the rest. Uh, is there another crate? Sometimes one spawns. Oh, is there another? There actually is. Look at that. There is another. Can I get to it? There we go. Oh, man. It's so weird how this happens, but I don't know why. It just happens occasionally, and I don't know how to stop it from happening. I'm gonna drop all the rest. I know that seems like a waste, but I don't really want to bother bringing all that stuff back. I think that's it, though. Cool. Alrighty, where's my moth? There he is. I can still ride on you, right? Alright, so I'm going to put those there, and... Yeah, I don't know if the beer helps or not. Hmm. We're going to keep half of those, I would say. I'm going to drop those ones there. Cool. Alrighty, so let's take a little look at some more of these mammoths. So, I think we already checked all of these, did we? I think we might have. Let's go further down here, because I saw there was even more down this way. Although, there's a couple wolves and stuff around, so I'll have to kill those. So, we see. 156, 18. You drown us somewhere over there. 114. You are 24. We got 24. 168, okay. That's something I could possibly get. There's a bunch more here, so I want to check all these, though. 24. 174, okay. We're getting that one, unless we find a 180. 108. That's close. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh my god, there's just so many. Look at this. 108. Let's see. Oh, dude. Like, look at this. Why is there so many? I know, it's the snow. They're like everywhere in here. It's crazy, though. You got such a good amount of these guys. We got another 174 there. I think I'll go for the other one because he's not right beside a bunch of wolves. Okay, I think I'm going to go for that 174. Unless... Uh, no. Okay. So I think it was that far one over there, right? Yeah, that's it right there. Although it is mate boosted, so I'll need to kill that one first. Uh, oh, this is right beside a base. This the Night's Watch? Yeah, it is. Okay. Cool. So this is kind of close to where we tamed our rhino. Alrighty. So I want to... I think maybe I might be able to get it by just, like, running away, to be honest. So, maybe we can chill up on this hill for the moment. And I don't know if we can get to me. Probably can't. I want to just add that glide suit on. Fortunately, that gets rid of my cool, uh, 
paint. Um, let's go ahead and use the shocking trank darts while we have them before they spoil. Alrighty. 174. Okay, it looks like I just aggro the 174, which is what you want. Okay, is it still mate boosted? I don't think it is. Oh, you know what? I forgot to bring kibble with me. Oh my god, I knew there was something I was forgetting. Damn it! Alright, I'll go back for it though, don't worry. It will only take me a minute to go back to base. Not really a minute, but you know what I mean. It's not gonna be long. Okay. Oh, he's running already. He's gonna be down really quick. Any second now. There we go, sweet. So the mammoth is down. I can head back and grab some kibble. I might just try and snipe some of those wolves first though. Or get them to go kill something or get killed by something. Just because they're a little bit too close for comfort. Maybe we can get them to come over and maybe fight a rhino or something. Can I land, please? There we go. Okay, I've got my pistol here, though. This pistol's really good, so we might be able to kill it. Oh my god, that was a headshot. Damn, dude. He's hitting my moth, but it's okay. Can I hit him? Oh, another shot. There we go. 174 dead. All right, I think we're good. All right, let's go take a little look at our mammoth. Uh, oh, there's some more wolves over there. Are you kidding me? Uh, I should be able to kill them though. They're only low levels. All right, let's see if they'll come to me. Okay. Got them. All right, sweet. Oh my God, the pistol meta on this server is incredible. <laughs> All righty, let's see. So, um, I just want to make sure this is the right one. I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, cool. And they don't drain down that quick, so I should be okay to go back. All righty, so that is a 174 basically tamed. Maybe I'll just bring you guys back when we're back at base with it. Yeah, because that's going to be a long journey all the way back. And I want to maybe do some stuff, maybe build some stuff on its back, because it will have a platform saddle. Because we do have the Better Mammoths mod. You can find out about this mod in the link down below. Uh, we're going to have that on. Uh, we're going to have that saddle on it. So we should be able to build a platform and have some cool stuff on the back. So maybe we'll pimp it out first, and then I'll bring you guys back. That could be fun. Okay, so we're coming up to the Mammoth, and we have all the kibble. I'm going to assume nobody's screwed with it. That would be annoying. Let's see. So apparently it takes 11 kibble on six times rates to tame a mammoth, which is kind of expensive. I feel like that might be wrong, but I, I don't think it is at the same time. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, come on, buddy. Are you going to start eating there, buddy? Huh? No? There we go. 162. Alrighty, let's see. Um Okay, he's eating. He's eating up. Think he's gonna fully tame? Um there we go. Nice. So it did cost that eleven kibble. Man, that is expensive for a frickin' mammoth. I mean they are pretty good though. Oh damn, that's some pretty good weight actually. Yeah, not bad, not bad. I think it's got some okay-ish stats. I'm not really too familiar with mammoth stats, so can't really tell. Where is its platform? It's like invisible. That's the platform saddle, but I don't see an actual platform. Maybe the platform is invisible and you have to place structures on it or something? I don't know how that works. Let's see. Oh, we can't land it up there. Did I craft the wrong one or something? Maybe I have to... I don't know. How does this work? Huh. I don't know how the platform saddle works. It's supposed to have one. Technically has a, a saddle on right now. Let's see. Let's go over here and maybe make up some foundations and see how that works. 
so we're almost back at base it's like right over there let's drop some wood because we really don't even need any wood honestly uh atro who's in our tribe has gathered like 300k wood the other day we literally had 300k wood yes it's ridiculous and this is a two-time server <sighs> um so apparently the issue with the platform saddle is uh it just got unlinked i guess with the recent update i shot the mod dev a quick message and he says that he'll fix it asap but i don't think i can really wait for that to come out to finish this video so i guess we can't show off the platform saddle here today but we might go ahead and maybe build up a cool little like base or something on the back of this thing for the next episode that could be cool we'll see but um yeah this mammoth has been pretty good so far i mean like in in general like mammoths are pretty fun i really like them i really want to make like an army of them to be honest right on here though like with the with the platform saddle that's gonna make them really useful for like raiding and stuff like that and i definitely want to be doing some breeding with the mammoths at some point soon there's a sign into our base <laughs> so we're almost home it's like right all the way over there should load in pretty soon but um yeah this thing does some pretty incredible damage with the right click attack which is this one and uh it just like it gathers the berries as well but it does i think it does like various different damages or something i haven't been able to see a straight up damage from it because like i've gotten four or five different numbers but i'm not sure if that was to do with mate boost or whatever i have no clue so yeah i don't know maybe we can check that out at some point but i think we're probably going to be done for here today if you guys did enjoy the video go ahead and hit the like button if you want to see more like this you can of course subscribe you can join the server it is patron exclusive but you can check that out down below and uh yeah let me know what you guys think of the mod as well actually check that out if you want to add it to your server if you want to but like i said before like stuff will change based on what we want on this server and it's gonna affect the mod in many ways so unfortunately you're at the mercy of what i want to be changed in it but it still should be a pretty good mod i might actually add it to some of my other servers but uh yeah that's it for today guys and i'll catch you in the next one also name suggestions what should we call our best mammoth